Can you able to see the VD, uh, screen? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Is audible? Yes. Yes, sir. So let us start uh, today's session, the lecture number one, with respect to cryogenic engineering, unit number one. The topic is properties of cryogenic fluids, uh, liquid oxygen and liquid nitrogen. Today we are going to discuss two fluids. So last class we were started with the uh, basics introduction to the of cryogenics and the properties of cryogenic fluids, liquid hydrogen and liquid helium. Today we are going to continue with the uh, two more uh, cryogenic fluids, uh, liquid oxygen and liquid nitrogen. So that's the today lecture session. Today session. So with respect to the liquid oxygen, uh, is as you know, it's, we know gas oxygen gas that uh, is abbreviated by the symbol O2 or OX oxygen. So liquid oxygen is abbreviated by a symbol LOX. L capital O small x R L O X both are in capital R L small O small x. So we can abbreviate liquid oxygen in three ways. It can be written in three ways. L denotes liquid, Y X denotes oxygen. So liquid oxygen has a pale blue color in nature due to the reason of having it having a long chain of O4, O4 content. So it is strongly paramagnetic. It is have it is also having a magnetic properties partial magnetic property it is having it's a paramagnetic one as well as the liquid oxygen has an expansion ratio of 1.861 uh, under the standard atmosphere condition svp of 100 kilo pascal and 20 degrees celsius as we know it is an oxidizing agent as you know it is uh, used as an oxidizer for various applications oxygen gas similarly liquid oxygen is also a very powerful oxidizing agent uh, also, it will having the property of burning rapidly. It will burn rapidly when, whenever it reacts with some other uh, fuels, and also it generating energy very high energetic uh, system of producing the hot gases at the end uh, as generating the power or energy can be generated uh, with uh, whenever it is burning with or is it reacting with the organic materials. For example, if you are using with respect to liquid hydrogen as the fuel, or we are using hydrocarbon or organic fuels or any fuels. Whenever it is the whenever it this oxygen reacts, uh, it burns rapidly as well as it will generate more energy. That's what is given. The materials having the property of rapid burning as well as the energetic uh, system of operation. Whenever it is used as the oxidizing agent. So these are all about the uh, base. These are about the basics of liquid oxygen. Abbreviated by abbreviation, how it can we can abbreviate it. What is the uh, color? What is the reason for that color as well as what is, is there any having any magnetic property or not it is having the magnetic property similarly we have in the standard atmosphere pressure stp conditions of 100 kilo pascal and 200 degrees as one atmosphere and 20 degrees celsius i did having an expansion ratio property of 1.861 what is the expansion ratio here is nothing but a liquid to gas or gas to liquid sorry gas to liquid expansion that ratio is of the range of 1.861 as we all we as all we know oxygen is an uh, is an oxidizer it's used as an oxidizer so it is an oxidizing agent same as liquid oxygen is also an oxidizing agent whenever it reacts with the organic material it will burn rapidly as well as it will, it will have some high energy kind of operation to generate more power at the end of the process so that is the these are all some basic property in addition to that, uh, we know the density kind of thing. So whenever we are discussing on density of oxygen, liquid oxygen, this liquid oxygen density is slightly denser than liquid water. OK, what is the density of water? One gram per centimeter cube. One gram per centimeter cube. Centimeter cube, thousand kilogram per meter cube. Okay, one gram per centimeter cube, thousand kilogram per centimeter cube. So the density of oxygen is uh, slightly denser. It is slightly denser than liquid uh, liquid water. Do you have any idea about the oxygen gas density? We already solved some numerical in rocket proportion by using liquid oxygen and liquid uh, hydrogen as the propellant. Do you have any? Do you remember that? 
we used to follow we used to uh, we always used to design by using this properties density also in that uh, applications density of oxygen density of hydrogen like that any idea about liquid oxygen density anybody no one okay this is coming in the next slide i will tell you okay so some materials such as coal at values 114 114 anyone okay some materials such as coal carbon black etc it can detonate so we have we got three things combustion explosion and detonation so depends upon the fuels the combustion uh, fuels whenever fuel is reacting with the oxidizer it tends to have the chemical reaction due to the chemical reaction uh, there may be a reaction due to the reaction there will be combustion takes place so the combustion may explode with some other more temperature it lead to explosion after some time uh, whenever it reaching a some other more extreme temperature it can have the detonation property similarly liquid oxygen also whenever react with uh, materials like uh, if it is soaked in liquid oxygen materials like coal or carbon black or etc can be detonated unpredictable from the uh, because of the flames or sparks or some light blows so there is that is the one more property of the liquid oxygen the liquid oxygen is soaking soaking with the carbon or some content material or coal or uh, maybe or any materials it can detonate unpredictable detonation can occur due to the reason of the the flame or due to the reason for of the sparking take place or maybe because of the impact from the light dose and our oxygen molecules uh, liquid oxygen molecules is no stable of o4 molecules in oxygen so sorry in liquid oxygen so what do you happen is oxygen o2 molecules do tend to associate in pairs so o2 o2 in pairs becomes a o4 so it forming a transient o4 units uh, but also it is in anti parallel spins so last class we were discussing on uh, spins ortho hydrogen and para hydrogen uh, to the okay, class last uh, first class uh, that we are discussing on anti parallel spins uh, sorry anti not anti parallel apart the ro sorry ortho and para hydrogen today uh, in this oxygen content o2 forms two o2 molecules form as a pair forming a transient o4 units so that is that it is unstable o4 molecules are unstable in liquid oxygen so the, that formation takes place due to this uh, structure o2 molecules presence how to obtain how to produce the oxygen liquid or liquid oxygen is naturally in air it is available in air oxygen contained in air so when you go for the fractional distillation process that is uh, distillation then we go to purify it uh, first to go for the distillation because from the distillation we go to purify it with a low temperature by using a cryogenic gas separation plant we can able to produce liquid oxygen so the obtaining the production of the production of liquid oxygen is from the natural air, air distillation by fractional distillation of air in the air it will we can able to generate or produce liquid oxygen so these are all the major properties of the liquid oxygen the boiling point of the liquid oxygen is 90.18 90.2 kelvin at a normal temper, uh, temperature of uh, atmospheric condition 101.325 stp stp similarly the freezing point of uh, liquid oxygen is 54.36 kelvin so already i asked you the same question density of uh, oxygen liquid oxygen is 1141 kg per meter cube this is a liquid oxygen density not a normal oxygen density it is liquid oxygen density 1141 kg per meter cube so density varies density also varies with respect to the pressure condition and the temperature condition so similarly here also the density of liquid oxygen is uh, 1141 kg per meter cube with respect to the pressure so uh, one more parameter we always used to discuss on the the parameter is the energy heat energy there is latent heat latent heat of the liquid oxygen is 213 kilojoules per kilogram similarly same as the hydrogen or helium oxygen is also having a three stable isotopes the isotopes are oxygen 1016 oxygen 017 and oxygen 018 so uh, it can sometime uh, whenever this uh, liquid oxygen touches the uh, uh, material it becomes extremely brittle because of its cryogenic nature because of the low temperature or low temperature liquid oxygen extreme low temperature to maintain them in the liquid state whenever it touches the, some material it becomes extremely brittle 
also uh, this uh, this also some properties of the liquid oxygen so uh, then come that this are all the basic uh, idea about the uh, these are all the basic properties of the uh, liquid oxygen so lox abbreviation by lox or lox capital or small x the color of the liquid oxygen is blue uh, pale blue the reason began that is the form the due to the long chains strongly paramagnetic expansion ratio gas to liquid uh, conversion ratio expansion is the range of 1.861 only sorry only state 61 not 1.0 only state 61 uh, under the only strip uh, stp condition of one atmosphere and uh, and 20 degrees celsius is also a very powerful oxidizer whenever it reacts with the ox uh, gases sorry fuels it will having uh, the high burning capacity and energetic in liquid oxygen energetic in the nature so liquid oxygen is more powerful and uh, so you are you can use it in various application especially in rocket application liquid rocket engines cryogenic engine we can call this cryogenic engine the cryogenic rocket system the liquid oxygen is react with uh, is combined with liquid hydrogen and, liquid, uh, and other gas other fuels uh, combination will tends to give some energy so it is a burning can be rapid burning with the whenever it react with the organic materials and it is energetic in liquid oxygen it can able to generate more energy so these are all some properties addition to the density different with respect to the water liquid water is then higher denser higher than the liquid water slightly denser that is 1000 kilogram here it is per meter cube here it is uh while liquid oxygen it is uh, 1141 kilogram per meter cube and it has stability as uh, a stable uh o4 is unstable is not stable in o4 molecules in liquid oxygen so the o2 molecules tends to form in the as a pair to form O4 units. Uh, whenever it is working with some materials, carbon materials or coal materials, it tends to have a property called as detonation. So detonation due to the high temperature, extreme high temperature of uh, combustion, uh, fuel and chemical reaction, fuel and oxidizer reaction. The because of reason begun that is the, due to the flame formation flames by the application of flames or sparking or maybe some other light blows. There may be a detonation occurs uh, with respect to the coal and carbon black. Uh, similarly, it is all found naturally. The almost the nitrogen, oxygen, all are found in natural gases. So by the process of distillation of uh, air or distillation in the air distillation or by fractional distillation method, it tends to give uh, the liquid oxygen in a separate gas separation plant or gas separation plant and the important major properties like the boiling point is of around 90.2 kelvin at one atmosphere pressure and the freezing point of liquid oxygen is 54.36 kelvin density also already we discussed 1141 kilogram per meter cube liquid oxygen that is liquid density liquid oxygen density so similarly atom heat of appreciation is 213 kilojoules per kilogram uh, due to this reason of uh, cryogenic nature whenever it touching on some materials it becomes a very brittle and extremely brittle so same as uh, hydrogen and helium here also we have uh, isotopes so liquid oxygen also having the isotopes existing three, three stable isotope form of 016 017 and 018 so these are all about the <clears throat> these are all about the liquid oxygen <clears throat>